Hi, my name is Jason Morgan. Welcome to my YouTube channel. I'm not in the studio at the moment. I'm outside, as you probably gathered. I'm in the garden, enjoying this lovely one day of sunshine we've got here in the UK. It doesn't happen that often, so I thought I'd sit out, enjoy the birds, enjoy the sun, and I do a book review for you. And the book I'm reviewing has been around for, well, years. I've had it in my collection for years and years. Leslie Harrison, Painting Animals That Touch the Heart. It's a pastel book. But I'm sure you can learn a lot of things other than pastels. You can learn about her technique and compositions and, and all that type of thing as well. I wanted to show you how good a book it is. I, as I said, I've loved it. I've had it for years and years. So let's take a little look inside. Okay, so here I am outside in the wilds in my garden. So you can hear all the birds, no doubt. But like I said, it's just too warm and too lovely to stay indoors. So I thought, let's have a look outside anyway. No problem. So you may hear some chickens, ducks, dogs, birds, <laughs> you name it, you may hear it. Okay, Painted Animals That Touch the Heart, Leslie Harrison. Hardback book. It goes about saying, as you can see on this image straight away, that she's a real master of her work. The pastel art is superb. And there's a photo of her there. And I thought we'd just have a quick look through, because you know what? There's so many art books out there these days and they are rubbish. A complete waste of your money. So I'm trying to show you on some of my book reviews basically what's the best books out there because this is the reason why I did my tutorials, my ebooks and my videos because there's so much rubbish out there. I wasted so much money on different books over the years, different videos. I really wanted to show you know the full process of going from the initial sketch all the way through and how an artist actually does a really good painting such as this not these 30 minute ones you see on most people's videos and books that are really just sketches and you still don't know how to create something very detailed so in this book as usual we start off with the with the actual products that's going to be used the pastels and she really goes into depth with these as well not just which ones she uses, but exactly why she uses them as well. Hard pastels and soft pastels. Also the different types of paper which seem to be very, very critical, especially for pastel art. Other tools. And then her studio setup. She's got two studios, one at home, a more intimate one. And then a larger town studio. Getting your reference photos, reference material, composition which is very important as well. She only touches on that, but is a, a good thing to cover. And if I jump through a few pages, we've got colour, the use of colour, warm colours and cool colours. What makes up a good animal painting and an animal composition? And then we start to get onto the more practical side of it, big cats. And she starts with the first of the demonstrations, a cat's eye, a snow leopard. Now, as I've done in my oil videos, I found snow leopards are really good to start with. And that's because you don't need that many colours for them. they basically just tones of light and dark. So it's good to get a feel for the animal rather than being too complicated with too many colours. And here she does a cat's eye, talking you through whether it's she's using a soft pans pastel or a hard pastel and at which stage and also why. Then she moves on to the paw. Shows you how to lay your colours, build them up, and then finish off with the detail. Obviously there's only so much the books can show you before you've actually got to try it out for yourself. Get the pastels in your hands and the paper and really give it a go and learn. But what she does in this book is really give you a good grounding on where to start, materials to use, and that's going to give you a good chance of not being too frustrated. Okay, then we've got chapter 3, which is Wolves. And she talks about the wolf as a pack member, showing her wonderful artwork throughout. And then she got another demonstration of a wolf's ear, showing the building up of colours and techniques, the paw. And you can see how it starts with a dark undertone, just like my painting demonstrations, and then you build on top to create that, that texture and that depth. So I'll just flick through, otherwise we're going to look at every single page. So you can see how she's building up through there. Eyes, some more examples of her artwork. 
and then horses which is what she's really really well known for wild and powerful gentle giants superb paintings and then a, a horse's eye building up in a similar technique the leg interesting how she builds up with blue underneath to make those darks even darker undertones the main dogs and cats cats very very popular with lots of people they love to draw and paint cats so she's got a great demonstration here showing the whiskers and the techniques she's found that works now the eye of a dog very similar to the other demonstrations but it gives you that that idea of how she's building up on different types of paper as well and you're with this dog and cat portrait she's using a beige velo toned paper to build up against so you can see it's packed and packed with lots of demonstrations and real valuable information in the text as well baby animals so you can see this book really does take it further than most other beginner books you can see with the photographs here how fantastic she is with her own art when she takes it to the ultimate level that she can and that's good to look for when you're buying a book make sure the artist can actually produce what you're hoping to produce once you've learned all these techniques because if they can't teach you that how are they ever gonna how are you ever gonna learn from them so there's a rabbit as well and then sea otter pup building up a completely different type of fur so packed and packed with little demonstrations i wish she did a video it'd be great to see her actually working on those in a video format and then we finish off then with a few examples of her fantastic work so you can see if you want to get a book that's packed with demonstrations throughout I think this is a great one if you're a pastel artist or you're trying to start to become a pastel artist you won't go far wrong with this one so I hope you've enjoyed that and I'll speak to you all again real soon hope you've enjoyed that video and if so I got lots more on my YouTube channel and don't forget the only way not to miss out on any new videos is to click the subscribe button on my website I've got full length feature videos I've got reference photo CDs and ebooks and also the new easy trace line art tool so hope to see you either on my youtube or my website jasonmorgan.co.uk see you all again real soon